Hello guys, Rusper here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a YouTube live stream overlay. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up pickmonkey.com. Once you get there, go to edit a photo. Then once that loads in, one second. At the top left of your screen, you'll see an open button. You want to click on that and then click on computer. Once you get that, it's going to bring you to your folders. And you're going to want to have saved any overlay um, that you pick out. So by doing that, you can just search blank live stream overlay. Go into images. And then pick one out that doesn't have like the text on it. Just like blank, you can do like things like these. Um, anyone you can find, you can scroll down, find anything blank. Once you've done that, just download it to a place in your computer that you'll remember it, and then open it up. So I have one saved to my computer already. We're gonna open that up. So that's gonna have the main part of our overlay. Then what we're gonna do is on the sidebar, you're gonna see a little butterfly. You're gonna click on that, and then it's gonna bring up overlays. You're gonna click add your own. You can find skins online, PNGs of skins anything you want and um just pick them out you can use your custom skins if you'd like if you have them so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add mine and i'm just gonna make it smaller and then bring it up into my top right into here so it's not over the video of what we're live streaming and then what you're gonna do is you can download different types of overlays um i might put links in the description for overlay packs um so you can get those and you can find things like these and you're just gonna take it and maybe put it on the side and you're just gonna do that so actually I want this on top of that and so I just will just add a uh, custom skin in. Bring it up to the top. Put this cool planning ring around it. Drop it in. And boom. And then what you want to do is you can add different effects. Um, like I said, I'll leave a pack in the description so you can just download some of these. And then, like, maybe again, put some, like, fire PNG over here. Like that. And then, um, what you can do is you can go to flamingtext.com. I'll leave the link in the description for this, too. And you can pick out one of these that you like, any of these in here. Um, any of the texts. And, like, uh, we'll just go with steel. And once you get into it, you want to click edit logo and go in where it says logo text just delete where it says steel and add in your username and then live stream so I can do Rusper enter live stream once you do that it'll um, center it for you and then you just want to go in here you want to click background you want to make it transparent close the PNG then click next once you do that you can just click download you don't have to buy anything and then just again save it in the place to remember it then you can go back to pick monkey add another overlay find where you saved it click on it and then just put it in on wherever you can fit it actually that's too good on the great background we already has that Once you're done with that, you can just add some designs.
Okay, so once you're done with that, you just want to go up to the top left again and click save. It doesn't matter the size, and then you can just save it to your computer. Save it in a spot, you can find it again. And then you're going to want to open up your OBS. Once you open it up, you're just going to add a new sequence. So you can do your live stream. You want to go to sources and you want to add your display capture. Then you want to go into images. Click OK. Click browse. Now go to that spot you put it in. And add it in. Once you do that, you just want to crop it in. It should fit just fine. Then you have this, and then what you want to do is you want to add your sub count in the corners here. So what you can do is just go and go into YouTube and go into your channel. Once you get into your channel, I like the part just so it doesn't go to youtube.com and click copy go into here and just add it on to the end and then it will come up with your sub count then you want to highlight this all and copy it and then you can go back into your OBS and add a browser source Once you do that, delete the URL that's already there and paste in the URL you have. Click OK and then it will appear. So you can just make it smaller and what you want to do is you want to right click browser source and then add a filter. So in the bottom left there should be a plus, just click that and click crop and pad. Press OK and then we just want to crop it in. So it's going to take a little bit of guessing to get you to get 250 off on there, and then take like 100 off the top, yeah, perfect. Then on the sides, you can just take off some, about 200 works, and you have your sub count right there. And you can close that down, and you have it right here, and you can just fit it in. And then you can just go and um, add another browser source. And if you have someone else's um, that you want to add in, you can add that in. Or you can just add yours in again by clicking this circle, add existing. And then make sure you find the one that you already have up, which is 5 for me. And click OK. And we pretty much just copy it. And you can crop that back in again. And boom. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll let the outro take it from here. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me.